Hi, my name is Jack Foles. Uh, I'm Bayard, Senior Director of Programmatic Media. And today I'm going to be discussing uh, the recent study that we've done in finding the perfect RN job title. Uh, we have a lot of clients in the healthcare space that are constantly looking for a high volume of registered nurses. With the labor market being what it is today, and especially for registered nurses, that search is harder than ever. So what we were tasked with doing was finding the best registered nurse job title for our clients' jobs so that we could standardize it across their entire organization and that we would know that we were using a title that would drive the highest number of impressions and clicks. This is an example of a typical job search on indeed.com for registered nurses. And what you see is a lot of different variations on titles in the market. Uh, this first job you see is very simple and to the point. It's a simple RN. Um, doesn't give you a ton of information about the job and requires the job seeker to click further on, into the job description to learn more about it. The second job does give you a bit more information. It gives you the discipline and it also, again, lets you know that it's a registered nurse job, but it doesn't give you any other information, maybe anything about a bonus, anything about a shift, anything about full or part-time. This third one, we do get a little bit more information. We have the registered nurse title again. We learn uh, the discipline and we also learn the shift, that it's a day shift. So this job title gives us a bit more information and doesn't require the job seeker um, to necessarily have to dive into the job description if they don't want to. And then finally, this fourth one is very simple. So as you can see, there's a lot of variability in the market. And even within some of our clients, because their recruiting teams are so big, we have different title variations that exist everywhere. Uh, so what we were tasked with doing is sort of shoring that up, doing some, some heavy research into job title performance for registered nurses, and trying to figure out what elements make the biggest difference uh, in job title performance so that when RNs go searching for jobs, we're in front of them often, but we're also enticing them to click. So again, we're gonna be doing this study on indeed.com as it is the largest job board in the world at this time. Uh, and we do find that a lot of registered nurses use this site to find employment. So to begin this study, uh, we did an analysis of six months worth of title data for some of our healthcare clients that are looking for registered nurses. Um, after analyzing the entire population of registered nurses in the country per BLS, we, just, we determined that a job title that has received more than 4,000 impressions is statistically significant to uh, making determinations about that population. So what we did was we poured through all of our job title data and removed everything that did not meet the criteria to be a part of this study. Um, we then reviewed and audited this data uh, and here is an example of sort of the things that we were looking at of this data. Um, so we looked at title, we looked at clicks, we looked at impressions, but we also looked at some other things that maybe aren't as numerical, but we think also factor greatly into registered nurse titles. Uh, the first thing was character count. Uh, we know that a lot of job boards truncate job titles uh, in searches. So uh, on indeed.com, 60 characters is the cutoff point, And we did find a pretty big dip in performance after that 60 uh, character count. And then we also looked at the elements and we mapped the elements that belong to each title. So if a title contained you know, a time determination, so full versus part-time, we would mark that. If it included the shift, days, nights, mix, we would mark that. Um, Sign-on bonus, we'd mark that. Um, relocation bonus. Any different element that existed in the titles that we found, we would map. And then we were able to break it down and look at performance by element um, in each title. Uh, in doing this and to determine what was the best, uh, we looked at eCPM, the effective cost per mil, and the click-through rate, uh, the number of clicks to impressions. We thought that these were the most significant metrics because with eCPM, you're seeing that for your given sponsorship dollars uh, on Indeed or on any job board, uh, these jobs would be viewed the most by job seekers. So eCPM is really a way to determine how the search engine uh, treats the job titles. But we also wanted to look at click-through rate because there are a lot of ways to perhaps manipulate a search engine to get impressions. If you put keywords that were unapplicable or you put um, you know, unrealistic bonuses, a lot of these things may boost your impression rate, but if they're not applicable, they're not going to be clicked on. And ultimately, we're trying to drive hires for our clients and the hire begins with the click. So we looked at the click-through rate to see what job titles we're not only uh, you know, getting a lot of impressions and very visible to our population, but also what our population was interested in and what they were clicking on. 
After looking at all this data, we determined that the two uh, most important elements or the two elements that have the greatest impact on performance were time and shift. Time being full versus part time, shift being days, nights, or mixed. And we also found that the best sort of combination of elements were registered nurse, discipline, time, and shift. And with registered nurse and with discipline, we feel that, and the client that we worked with on this felt that these were no brainers. Um, obviously, you have to tell the candidate that it's a registered nurse job. Discipline is also something that, since many nurses have specific specialties, if a job is in a discipline that they don't specialize in, we want them to know. Conversely, if the job is in a discipline they do specialize in, we also want them to know that this is the right job for them. Um, so for those two elements, those were included in basically every title. Um, but time and shift were two of the seven elements that we tested. And so the presence of those two lifted uh, click-through rate and also decreased CPM, uh, eCPM, as we saw. The next step here uh, for us is we had made a determination on what elements had the most impact, but, we, but the next thing we wanted to look at was the values of those elements and what certain values of time, uh, so part-time versus full-time, what, what the values impact was on performance. Um, we wanted to see that we know that time plus shift overall is the best, but is it possible that when that shift is nights, performance dips? Is it possible that when that shift is days, performance increases? So we wanted to see what the values of time and shift, what impact those values have on performance. And if the impact is negative, are we better off not including the element at all? And to do this test, we decided to do four uh, A-B tests in three different regions. Uh, you know, this is really a nationwide study and we wanna get a good idea of what trends are across the entire country. So we decided to select uh, four different hospitals that were at least 25 miles apart from each other. Uh, we'll be doing this test on Indeed.com and Indeed broadcast job ads within a 25 mile radius of the original posting. Uh, to ensure that our jobs aren't competing against each other in Indeed's auction, we wanted to be sure that our jobs were sufficiently uh, separated. The next thing is that we also wanted to make sure that our test was standardized across discipline. Since we already know that discipline will be included in our title, uh, we wanted to make sure that we weren't having any variability with disciplines. Some disciplines, there's a, there's a smaller supply than others. Some have a greater supply than others. So we're gonna use the same discipline across the entire test to make sure that that's standardized. We will be doing this with Indeed hosted jobs, but we will not be doing uh, the quick apply feature when you do an Indeed hosted job, you have full control over the title and the content, which is what we need here. But when that job is opted into Quick Apply, there is a prompt on the job ad that tells the candidate that this is a Quick Apply job, entices the candidate to apply. And while that's great and a very useful feature for this test, we don't want anything else that will um, perhaps entice the candidate to apply. This should be a very standard job posting. Finally, Again, after looking at title data, we, we learned that uh, 60 characters, there's a really big difference uh, between jobs that have less than 60 characters and more. There are a number of things that go into it, but at the end of the day, the numbers said that over 60 characters does not perform as well, so we know that we wanna stay under 60. This slide here shows us an example uh, of what one of the tests would look like or one of the tests within a region would look like. Um, so for this first test, uh, the first and second test, we'd be testing shift. So the first job title, 1A, would be registered nurse, med surge, which is our discipline, which is constant across all testing. Uh, both A and B are full time, but A contains the night shift information and B does not. So what this is testing for is we know from the previous data that registered nurse plus discipline plus time plus shift is our best combination. But we want to see how night as a value performs and whether we're better off not including night. And the same logic goes for test number two. But instead of night, we have days. So everything else is standardized, but we also want to see that, are we better off advertising day, day shift jobs as a day shift job? Or does that have a negative effect on performance? And do we want to remove that altogether if we do have a day shift job? Finally, um, we're looking at number three and number four. Uh, this is the same methodology, but instead this time we're testing for time. So everything is standard uh, from the registered nurse to the discipline med surge and everything is a day shift. Um, but what we're testing is 
for test number three, test A is a part-time job. B is also a part-time job, but we're not including that information in the title. And again, we want to see that if it is a part-time job, are we better off including it or are we better off not including it? And test number four is the same thing, uh, but this time we're testing full-time. So we would do these tests again in three different regions. Uh, we would have you know, region A, region B, region C, four different locations, one test at each location. And at the, at the end, what we'd hope to determine is um, you know, how each element affects job title performance and then how each value more specifically affects that job title performance. Um, to do this, we'll run the campaign um, for about a month. We want to make sure that we are getting a statistically significant number of impressions for each job title. So we'll use historical eCPMs to budget the campaign. Uh, once the campaign has run, we'll, we'll analyze the numbers. So we'll look at the clicks, we'll look at the impressions, we'll look at the spend, uh, and we'll determine our eCPM and CTR for each title and each test. Uh, just like we did the first time, we'll pull out each element, but this time, since the elements are standardized, we'll actually be pulling out the values. So then we'll be able to see what effect night has on job title performance, what effect a day shift has, what effect a full-time uh, position has, and what effect a part-time position has. Um, this is really getting us to the bulk of our study where we want to be with our titles. The desired outcome here is that once we're finished with this test, we'll be able to say with certainty to this entire organization that this is the guide for how you should title your RN jobs. You should include registered nurse, you should include RN, you should include time and shift, but potentially you may not want to include this shift or you may not want to include uh, this time designation.